All right, guys, we are back today with uh, my 2003 Honda Goldwing. Um, before we get started, I'd like to apologize for the wind noise. It's a little windy today, uh, but anyhow, I'm basically gonna be selling the bike here real soon. And uh, back when I bought the bike, before I bought the bike, I was trying to find videos kind of like this. Uh, and there was not a lot out there for the Goldwings, believe it or not. These are uh, pretty popular bikes. Of course, the crowd that rides them <laughs> probably don't have a phone that has a camera on it. So um, that's pretty funny, but anyhow, um, it's an 03 Honda Goldwing. It's your old man bike, really. It's a nice, comfortable cruiser. It's probably the most comfortable bike you can buy. Um, it's just a very refined, reliable bike that you know, it just gives no issues whatsoever. Riding it, uh, maintenance, and all that stuff. I've owned it for about a year now. Like I said, I'm selling it to get a new bike. Uh, we'll have a video on that for the next one. But uh, this channel is by no way a uh, motorcycle channel. Just uh, wanted to get it out there for the people looking at a uh, perhaps a Goldwing. Um, especially a uh, first generation GL 1800. Um, this generation started in 2001 and uh, it basically ran its way up to 2017. It did get a refresh in 06 and another refresh I believe in uh, 12 or 13. So um, it, they've been refreshed and they're very modern looking bikes still today but um, anyhow this is an 03. Um, not much to really say about it. It's been a fantastic comfortable bike. It's got great power, especially for a larger bike that's almost a thousand pounds. Um, it's so big, in fact, that it does have reverse. Um, a lot of Goldwing guys will know that. It does have reverse right there. Uh, it basically just reverses the starter motor, but it does help assist on, like, say, an incline or whatever. Uh, it's a very nice feature to have. Uh, my Goldwing right here in particular, uh, the previous owners took very good care of it. Uh, they only put one option on it, uh, or one aftermarket option, was this spoiler. Uh, a lot of these Goldwings are known and just... It's so hard to find a stock Goldwing without any chrome tacky add-ons or any tacky lights. Um, there's just so many out there that look really bad. So that was another reason I bought this one. And I kind of had to settle for this color. I do say it does look really nice. Uh, it's just not my favorite, my most favorite color. Um, it does look great on this bike though. Like I said, it's an older older uh, gentleman bike. So, uh, you know, they like these older style colors. But anyhow, um, it only has a spoiler on the back. Uh, no backrest or anything. Uh, if I was to keep this much longer, I'd probably have a backrest on it by now. Uh, that's one thing I do need. Um, gas lid right here, some storage, and some more storage. Uh, you have your speakers here. There are four speakers on the bike. Uh, they're pretty loud. You have some storage back here for the back passenger. Uh, it's just an insanely comfortable back seat. Um, I've just sat on it a few times, but uh, you can definitely put a, a larger uh, frame back there. So um, you have some grab handles some foot so foot floors right there and then obviously it's a five speed uh, manual transmission again this is a flat six 1800 you have some nice big mirrors right there um, this is your uh, pretty simple gauge layout you have a nice little gold wing sweep right there when you start it up uh, it says 42,000 on it we'll start it up here so I did add these Cobra pipes on it just to get a little more noise it does sound pretty good, I do think. Uh, my next bike's gonna stay stock though with the pipes. Just something I kinda had to get out of my system, but um, they are Cobra pipes. They do look pretty good on it. Um, you have some storage. On both sides, and of course we have the storage in the trunk. So, uh, you, you don't fall, forward, fall short of storage. I've packed quite a few things in this bike, so I'm definitely gonna miss this trunk here, but um, it's a very versatile bike. Uh, obviously, it's a touring. Um, you have your radiators on the side right there. And so, guys, basic impressions of this bike. If you're a touring bike guy, you're gonna love this. If you're a sport bike guy, you're, you're not. Um, I'm just not into the sport bikes, so this, this definitely fit the bill. Uh, it made me want a newer one, so I can go finally spend the money and buy a newer one and know I want one of these for the long haul. So guys, hope this was a very helpful video one way or another. Um, so as usual, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you all later.